Wolves free, Everton nil. Brilliant result today. Back to back to normal. Some people might say after a couple of dodgy performances. Good to see that uh, Nuno made a couple of changes. Not the changes I'd have made, but they were they were the right changes. At the end of the day, Pedence came in. Man of the match, I think, for the for the 70 minutes he played looked really sharp. First half was fairly normal. For, for Wolves, wasn't it? Fairly fairly pedestrian, but clearly dominating the game. Couple of chances. Um, got the goal at the end of the first half, and that kind of set things up for the second half, which was is easy is easier watch, I think, for Wolves fans as they've as we've had for for a while. Well, what a performance! Great performance. Well done, Nuno. Three changes, well deserved. The Wolves team are back. Glad we didn't have to do the video for the last two matches, Steve. I agree with that, Glenn. That was a great bounce back ability game. We needed it. 100% effort by everybody. Um, can't knock the, the tactics. The team selection at the start was great. Quite happy with that. Uh, Podence made a massive difference to the team today. It was great to see him start the game. Same for Neto. I think both of them together, you know, it's great options, you know, for us, for the team, really. Um, Podence would be man of the match for me. I think that's what he got as well. Um, Neves played really, really well. He seemed to be detecting the whole of the midfield and he was sort of you know, um, catching loose balls um, as and where uh, was necessary. Podence, what a player. Man of the match. Georgie? <laughs> yeah, I thought Podence played really well. Um, I thought Neves wasn't far behind him either. Um, you know, it could have been 7-0 really. We could have really pushed him. I don't think it was ever in doubt. Um, two nils always a funny scoreline, but once we put that third, it was to bed. I think as well, you know, like Glenn said about the changes that Nuno made, it was needed, and and it, and it showed that you know we're not just a one-man team. When Traore comes on, we have got other options, and I think today proved that. Second goal, third goal, easy enough. Everton looked like a poor team, team that were on the beach literally, um, and really it was a question of how many Wolves were going to get. In the end, uh, Peden should have scored. Jota had another chance, didn't he? Uh, Traore almost missed an open goal at the end, but you can forgive that. Uh, it's great to see Jota getting a goal, getting his confidence back. Hopefully, he'll be all right now for the rest of the season. I love Jota, and I'm so glad he finally got a goal. Um, he's my favourite player, as you know. And today he needed to score, and after the first time, I was like, oh my god, here we go. We're going to have loads of people moaning about him. And now he, he finally got his, his goal, and I think that from that and from there on, it might give him the boost that he needs. Um, he seems to go through phases. Great team performance. We, we wanted a bounce back, and we got it. Cheers, Nuno. We knew you could do it. And you look at it, and it, and it sort of all swings again, doesn't it? Because uh, you've, only, you've, you've now got two more games against Burnley and Palace where you'd hope that. They're also on the beach. Their, their seasons are pretty much finished. So if you can try and get maximum points from that, it all goes down to Chelsea. have got some tough fixtures. So really hopeful today. Really, really pleased. Uh, 3 just what a doctor ordered. And uh, onwards and upwards we go.